We have touched down on a new planet. Exiting aircraft. Conditions appear to be hostile. I appear to be very cold. Very, very cold. Oh my god, it's so cold. We're gonna have to brave the storm though. Although I don't know how we're gonna do that since it's so incredibly cold that I'm freezing my buttocks off and all I need is cadmium. It's fine, we're powering through, but I actually can't see where I'm going, so this is a big problem. Well, it's super chilly out here. I gotta warm up inside my starship. Where did the cadmium go? I need some, not enough fuel and launch thruster. That's not great. Oh my God, there's so many tentacles just everywhere. This is a very tentacly planet here. Uh, I don't think I like it. Also, I have no ferrite to be able to get more metal plates for my starship fuel. Cadmium, I found you. I don't know how much of this I have, but it's not in every solar system, so I'm assuming it's semi-rare to some extent. So we're gonna get as much of it as we can. Is the storm relaxing? Oh, it's actually quite beautiful when the storm's not raging down my bosom. What does this stuff sell for? Will this be like a good mining material for making money? I like money. I do really much like money. There we go. Change out of there and get some ferrite dust. Get back to my ship. I should have everything that I need from this planet right now. Get in. No, don't get out, get in. Now we're in the process of trying to make a soul engine, which we need a living pearl. I don't know where to get that. Harvest living pearl and the galaxy map search for a system with water. Access the galaxy map. So we need a water system. Prepare for takeoff. Now in search for a aquatic planet, looking for planets with large water bodies. Where would that be? It doesn't appear that any of these are water-bearing planets, but actually, let's check this one in the back right here. I did not see that one. A glacial planet, no. But we can go over to our galaxy map. We know there is a water-bearing planet um, in our old solar system where our home is, although it seems to want us to go here. So, you know, why not? Let's check it out. What the heck is happening? That dude just appeared. What's happening? Oh my gosh. Are these baddies? These look like baddies. I get the feeling these are baddies. Okay, we're going in. We really came in firing big on this one, didn't we? Yeah, get that shield out of here. You don't belong around these parts. Okay, where's the other one? I'm pretty sure there were two, at least. Oh, out of range. No, no, you don't. Fire the missiles! We're using the power of teamwork, baby. Oh God, we're gonna crash. We need some distance. Initializing target locking systems. Get out of here. Mission accomplished. Harvest living pearl. Emergency comms established. Someone's trying to contact me. Um, an NZ fits commendable, please, something. The life form, who must be the captain of this freighter, looks greatly relieved. They gesture as if to welcome me aboard their vessel. I mean, I won't deny, uh, a reward of some sorts. You know me, I love free things. How do I get in? That looks like it could be it. Okay. Y'all better not jump me whenever I step out of my ship! That would be highly disrespectful for somebody who just apparently saved you. Definitely didn't think he was saving himself. These are some ships that exist. All right, everybody, hang uh, hang tight in here, except you, you can go, I guess. I give you permission. Nobody applauded our flawless victory there. We didn't lose a single casualty, or we didn't have a single casualty. Whatever. Well, this is fun. Hello, hi, where's the welcoming committee? Are you captain? You kind of look like the guy I talked to. Are you captain? Oh my God, they all look the same. That's not racist if it's true, right? Are you captain? Lights flicker rapidly across the life form's visor and their head nods imperceptibly forwards. They seem to be showing me gratitude. They gesture towards the control panel of their freighter as if to suggest I take command. What do you got? What do you got going on here? Five million dollar freighter for free? Free's fun. 
yeah, uh, if you're not gonna make me pay for it, then I, I like it. How do I sell it? Inspect your fleet at the fleet management terminal. Learn about your fleet's current specializations. I apparently have a fleet. Um, and it's just that one ship. Oh, I've seen those ships like flying around on planets and stuff. Teleport aboard, dismiss. Okay, I guess let's teleport aboard. Uh-huh, this feels like I shouldn't be able to breathe. Do I have a crew here? Where's my crew? It seems a lot like I was given a ship without a crew and I don't really know how helpful that is to me. Well, I guess I have a freighter now. I'm just gonna go then. Traveler entity, our artifact scanner is at full power. On your command, I will target the systems at nearby planet and begin the scan. Do, the th do that, I guess. Is that us? Is that... That's not us? Return to your ship and leave the frigate. We'll hand her freighter, freighter stuff later. For now, we're looking for a water planet, and I don't want to get too distracted. Skeletal planet? I don't even know what that means. Well, that looks like a water planet to me. So that's where we're gonna go. I can't see anything. Jeez. Are these clouds? I've never seen clouds like this. I have no idea how close to the ground I am. Okay, so this is a water planet. I've just never flown through clouds. That was weird. We're just gonna find a spot to land and we'll just search from there. Let's try this spot here. Oh, perfect. Thy hydrogen too? We actually need that for more fuel cell stuff. Giant clams, where are you? What the heck is that? Abyssal horror. What do you mean abyssal horror? I hate everything about that. You, that's gotta be it, right? That purple thing? Oh yeah, you're clammy, all right. You are definitely clammy. Oh, that's the beauty right there. No, no, open that baby back up. Ow! Yeah. Oh, sweet, delectable pearl. Sweet mother of pearl! I wouldn't mind having one more of those babies. You know, one just for me. Oh, is that another one up there? I think it might be. Oh yeah, sweet, delectable pearl. Oh, another one. They're all over the place now. You just gotta find the right waters. They huddle together in schools of clams. Awesome. So, I have eight living pearls, and I have eight crystal sulfide. Or, no, I have 28. And those things are heckin' valuable. 75,000 each and 40,000 each, so... That's not bad for making money, really. I can construct the soul engine, though. Right there. Perfect. The mind arc, sorry. It's no, soul engine. It's the soul engine. Now I need the mind arc. The mind arc requires a soul engine, three wiring loom, and three glass. To get glass, we need frost crystal. Oh, what are you talking about? What is this? What's happening? Incoming message. The trader gestures happily, keen to do business directly, free from the interference and regulation of the galactic trade terminal. Yeah, I mean, if you've got the wiring loom, my dude, you've got frost crystals. I need a lot, but this is kind of convenient. I'm gonna get 120, because I can't remember if it was three. Well, anyway, they're not that expensive. I'm gonna buy them all. Looks good to me. Very convenient on the frost crystals. That could not have been any better. Now we just need the wiring loom, I'm pretty sure. Wiring loom, they're so expensive and the price just goes up. Okay, we have three of them now. It costs pretty much everything we just made off of our profits there, but what can we do about it? Nothing. Mind arc, we need glass. And to make glass, we can actually do that. Yes, yes, I'm so glad I bought all of that because I really didn't need it all. The mind arc, we have it, there it is. Assemble mind arc components completed. Now, with the mind arc constructed, we can reassemble what was left of Artemis. Bring him back to reality, or what was left of him. How this will turn out for him is to be determined, but at least we can say we tried. Coming in hot, baby. All right, Null, the tower hosts a powerful transmitter designed to facilitate holographic communications across long distances. Tune in to Artemis. Artemis, are you there, buddy, pal? Hello, friend. 
Use mind arc. I activate the mind arc. I do not know what I expect. Some show of light and fury. Where Artemis emerges in the flesh, restored to life before my eyes. But it's not to be. One moment I see their hologram, and the next, there's nothing. The stranger who gave me these blueprints beckons me over their signals still active. Hello? Travelers are a dream. An idea that we have some special place in the universe. Artemis had it. You had it. Apollo too, though they would not conceal it. Even I had this dream long ago. We are countless, my friend. Walking these worlds, yearning for friendship. No one wants to be alone, not truly. But the closer you get to others, the more you risk hurting yourself, hurting them. The deepest secret of the universe is not that the glass or the Arions or progenitors. It is in the final act, the decision to abandon those who need you. It is the primal sin, the foundation of existence itself. Go to the stars, traveler. Your friends await you. They will help you bring peace to poor Artemis. Return when you're finished. We have much to discuss. I just got here. Now you're sending me back up to the stars? Bring Artemis to Nada. A copy of Artemis has been stored in the Mind Arc. Fly into space and summon the anomaly. Oh, wow. I've copied Artemis. I just have a copy of somebody. In my pocket? Um, Nada? I have a person in my pocket. Is that legal? I feel like there's some logistics of how that's probably not legal. You're ugly. Friend entity, Paulo observed your signal approach, but it was anomalous. The signature was from the wrong time. Are you well? Not incomplete? Not fading? Nana's visor's light flares, burning with concern and distress. Reveal the Mind Arc. I tell Nada about Artemis, about Null, and about the Mind Arc. It glows brightly as I reveal it. It is Echo. I, I never thought to see a traveler soul. You're so beautiful. But friend entity, this Artemis Echo is in pain, disconnected. This Ark is no rescue. Artemis Echo will never have body again. We'll never explore again. Old life, gone. But we can help them. Nada has a machine. No, not machine, it's something living, a, re a refuge. There's a choice. You may upload Artemis Echo to a machine to sub-simulate where they may live on, or help Artemis Echo and end suffering. Ask about the simulation. I ask what life would be like inside this simulation. Nada pauses for a moment, staring at me strangely. Nada tells me Artemis would still feel joy in the things they've experienced, but if they should learn of their fate, that they were alone, no longer real, unable to meet their friends, such knowledge may cause them great pain. Okay. I have not really decided, though. Go and speak with Paulo Traveler. They'll help you calibrate the machine, no matter what your decision. Whatever you do, I'm proud of your compassion. You are Traveler Friend. Paulo, how do you feel about having a person in my pocket? Nada told me what you need to do. Just know, friend, that we support you no matter the choice. I'll prepare the machine. It is not a friend's private refuge. Please treat it with care. Hello? The simulation terminal. The machine is ancient and powerful, a relic of a world long since destroyed. The craft is extraordinary. It is clearly tended to often and with great love. I feel a whisper, Nada's faint hum over the speaker. As they commune with the machine, the words on panel unscramble themselves. Nada entity authorization detected. Secondary simulation right enabled. This relic is a simulation of a solar system. A prayer offered by ancient Corvax to the Atlas, now reshaped at the heart of the anomaly. A single false solar system, so dear to Nada, it will act as a home for Artemis, should I wish it. So we have a choice here. We either upload Artemis so he can blissfully, ignorantly live out his days exploring solar systems, or give him the truth and allow him to die. And I think I'm leaning towards upload him. He won't know. He's already gone. He was already dead. In a way, he was already a, in a, a simulation of sorts, just kind of between universes in a weird way. So, and all he really wanted was to explore universes anyway. 
I upload Artemis to the simulation. A spark of blue light blazing through the air before me. It fades for after a moment, disappearing into the depths of the machine. Nada tells me that it's done. For my sake, they will permit transmission to and from this simulation. At least while the anomaly passes through safe systems. They warned me that Artemis will need some time to grow, adjusted to their new life. Well, Artemis, there you are, in a universe all to yourself, where you can explore it all. The first traveler wasn't able to. He was limited by time. Artemis Echo will live on. Traveler took them from corruption and restored them to a life of exploration. To see a solar system that none but Corvax have ever witnessed. You've done well, Traveler. Don't worry, friend. We'll take good care of Artemis simulation. The souls of your allies are safe with us. So we've uploaded Artemis to the machine. Now I believe we're contacting Null. Do I have to go back to that station? Answer the communicator by pressing X. Apollo, are you receiving? The Hollow Terminus is showing, available again. Your signal was, I thought you were gone. It's a relief to hear Apollo again. It feels like we haven't spoken in a long time. I try to recount the experience to Apollo as best as I can. The gateway, the strange planet, the vast machine, the crimson orb. As I talk, I realize the memories themselves are unstable, that I cannot form them in my mind. It's just dull, aching red. I tell Apollo that I think I saw Atlas itself. You... you saw it? You met the Atlas? The Gek, the Corvax, they worship it as a god. I never thought it was real. Never thought... Are you alright? I can't imagine what you've gone through. It was not a god. I tell Apollo of the things the Atlas said, how it spoke of travelers and sentinels, as if they are protocols, not living things. The way it views us, the way it looked at me, it felt as if life and death were just fragile dreams, not real concepts at all. At least it didn't harm you. And I think, I think there's something in what you've just said. The Corvax pay homage to the Sentinels precisely because they believe them to be servants of the Atlas. We should investigate further. This machine will lead us to the Sentinels' nest. We'll be rich before we know it. Ah, uh, say talk of money is absurd, agree, say there are more important things. There's nothing more important than money! I tell Apollo I agree, perhaps the Sentinels and the Atlas are linked. Perhaps this path we need to take. But there are other factors now in play. I tell Apollo of Artemis' grave and my encounter with the mysterious traveler, Null. Artemis is dead? I, I don't... How? How would... I know I made fun of them, but that was easy. They cared, they believed, and I... What's happened to them? Where have you buried Artemis? I want to say goodbye if you can. Oh, I'm gonna tell him the truth. I tell Apollo that Null gave me a way of saving Artemis to restore them to a form of life. Apollo is initially excited at the prospect of going to meet Artemis, but I explain the nature of what I did. I tell them that Artemis' soul lives on only within a simulation, unable to go beyond. It is a long time before Apollo speaks again. Will they be happy? I don't know, but I hope so. You did the right thing. You tried. Whatever you might be feeling right now, know that you're a good friend. I might have to go through the portal and join you. That much is clear. We just need to figure out the right glyphs, the right address for that world of yours. Find a monolith. Search for patterns in the data. These things are machines, and we simply need to understand their code. Use a monolith to locate a portal for Apollo. And I think there we have it. That was Artemis and his journey. I don't know if we're ever going to get to talk to him again, but... Look how close these planets are. I got really distracted right there. Anyways, um, yeah, Artemis gone. He gone. And I can't take that back. Uh-uh. No, no, girl. But now we're on a quest with Apollo, and Apollo seems like he wants to be rich. And I'm not opposed to being rich. I like money. So now... We need to find some glyphs and possibly bring Apollo to me. Here we go. 